All right, hello everybody. Um, I'm gonna try this out. I'm not exactly sure how this works, and if it doesn't work, I'll try it in a different way, I guess. But I didn't even know my um, UCAM could capture Dex desktop, and so we're gonna try it out. So right now, what I have is my eBay screen up here for you guys to see. So we're gonna go into selling. So you guys can see what the selling part looks like. And that is not exactly where I wanted to go. Hold on. Okay, no. Okay. It's really annoying. It's like if you click on sell, then it won't take you here. But if you go to my eBay, it will take you here if you do selling. Anyways, welcome to my selling page. And basically what it's showing is um, on this page, part um, it shows like your orders your sales your task and then it goes more into depth as you go down the page and you know what you have on your selling page um, I don't have any tasks pe pending I only had two sales today and I shipped them out even though I'm one day um, handling I sent them anyways because they were birthday cards and then this is where it shows your sales I'm down 20% from last year and I've been listing every day which I think is funny so um, I'm not like a big time seller this is just what I have so like I said here's past 90 days that's what I made past 90 days so like I said not a big time seller or anything but I do sell things so Next thing to show, like if you wanted to create a listing, or um, like right now, I gotta plan this out better. But um, if you wanted, say I wanted to um, do a listing, and right now I'm actually working on, I'm working on different listings right here. So these listings, um, they're all done except they need like one or two things. This one's done and was I was just waiting on because I finished it late last night was um, to make um, it into an auction. So what I want to show you is just kind of like how I list and this is my new first screen because Google Analytics wants this um, to be a white background it's just the same picture as this and I actually can make this a little bit smaller so it looks a little better you can do that with their resizing tool um, since I have my new camera I don't really mess anything with editing for any reason there's no need there is a little bit color discrepancy between these like it looks greener here than it is here but that's just the way that shirt is with the light there's really no other way to describe it um, so you can make it here and then you can resize it there. If I did want to make it brighter, lighter or something, eBay, oh that looks horrible. eBay has a little tool right here that you could make that, but do you see how like then it like it just looks funky and I don't I don't like this. This looks normal. It shows the heathered one. You can click it to make it larger so you can see it better too. Um I only have a small area of my house to actually list. This is a corner and the door, there's a door right here and then there's a wall right here. Um, so it kind of makes it look like one wall. Why does that keep going like that? I don't know. I just don't like how that looks. It looks kind of weird. And so like if this wasn't an auction, I would put it at Poshmark too. Um, at the same time there you go that looks better um, this this top is a 2x and my mannequins a medium so it, it probably looks a little funny on her but I'm not selling it for much and I wouldn't pick this up to like technically resell like all the time or anything I picked this up for me because I have an extra large one just like it and I picked it up at the bins and it was just too big for me so you have to go and fix all this to make sure you have anything like I miss material and the only reason why is because this one has no materials tag it's been cut out so it's pretty much unknown so then you add like other things like the length of it if you want to I didn't because 
I mean, honestly, this new length style, I put in my listings and measurements, and I have them in with the picture. It's going to fall on different people on different places. So, I mean, it might fall on one person really long, whereas another one is going to be really short. So if you say uh, hips and it falls on their waist, they're going to be like, this is not on my hips or my waist or, you know, whatever. Um, pattern, I also left blank on this only because it's like solid but heathered. And this one thing I don't really like is they don't have the option for a heathered pattern or um, anything like that or marled pattern. They don't have that option. And there's another option that really bugs me when, because I list a lot of Lululemon, as you know. And um, they don't have the option to list, what is it? it's like something that they should have it's like a poly cotton blend they do not have poly cotton blend as a material or not cotton sorry poly spandex blend as a material option which really bugs me because LuLaRoe sells a lot on the site and it should have it so here is my listing right here I can check to make sure that it's mobile friendly um, you gotta make sure it is otherwise it'll scroll from side to side and you don't want that so it is I have everything in here already. Um, I was a little, I, I don't know if I did it to this one or not. And I'm, I've decided to go back. Yeah, I decided to go back to the other version, but I guess I'll leave it in here for now. So like when I have like down here, I have picture show measurement to the nearest eighth of an inch. Please look at them if I'm sure about the size and then what the picture show measurement for and then chest and waist and then there's somebody who messaged me last night and they were like sometimes if you measure around or something you can get an extra inch or two in and I don't know it just totally threw me off so I just added in there please take into consideration that side stress stretch may add an additional inch or two for these types of measurements well there's no period in there that's annoying um, and that remember all brands and sizes don't always fit the same way and Honestly, I mean, you don't have to do all this, and I honestly don't even know if I'm going to continue to have all this in my listing. I just feel like it's a little bit of a waste in time, and nobody probably really reads it anyways. Um, I actually updated how this looks. No, this is the updated one. So this is just like my additional information, shipping, returns, and payment. Not a lot of people put all this in there. You don't have to put all this in there. I do because I'm like one of those annoying perfectionist people and that's just what I do. But so it tells you basically the brand, the color, the size, the style, materials, unknown, um, where it's made. And some people are like, why do you bother putting it where it's made? Well, when you sell LuLaRoe, it does matter where it's made. And like I said, I, this is not like my permanent forever wanting to list this way because now that eBay has all these item specifics in here, and as you can see, they do have country, region, and manufacturer, I probably won't continue to do that except with LuLaRoe because I do think it's so important to know where LuLaRoe is made. So I have this on auction style, and the reason why I'm doing auctions to, is one, to get rid of some items that are going to sell at a lower rate, and two, because with your basic store plan, um, you get 250 best best offers, buy it now's, and 250 auctions, and I never use them. So I'm basically losing out on the chance to have 500 listings, which is when um, your store is supposed to really take off. Like it's a big difference, just like it's a big difference when you go from under 250 to over 250, you see an increase in sales. Like when I had under 250, I would see a sale every couple of days. Now if I when if I make sure I'm keeping it over 250 and preferably over 275, I see a lot more sales, but it's kind of slow right now. So I'm going to start this at 550 and I've got my shipping policy of first class. I have shipping policies to show you my shipping policies. There's a whole bunch of different ones. I got to clean that up a little bit. But um once you kind of opt into shipping policies, it just kind of makes it that way. Uh, first class $4.99 shipping because I don't weigh these things before. I can give you an estimated guess that it will probably be 12 ounces based on what it is. Um, but I don't really weigh these things beforehand. Um, so I know for sure it's eventually I'm going, I've created a new policy. Um, where is it? Here it is. $3.99 first class for lower shirts, but because this is a big shirt and it is like a sweater material, um, 
and I put sweater shirt. It's it's like a really a thin knit long sleeve sweater type material shirt. It will probably be at least 12 ounces if not pushing it higher. So what I can do now is I can go ahead and list my item here or I can save and continue it later or I can preview it. So I'm going to go ahead and preview it. So this is how it would look to me or this is a buyer if they want it. At 550 is the starting bid. If one person bids, that's great. If more than people bid, that's cool too. And then they could just see all of this here. And really the meat and potatoes of the information is just right here, which is technically the same thing that's all here anyways. It's kind of redundant, but at least like it's there in a bulleted form for people to see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, double check everything. I think everything is good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and list it. Oh, I am going to change this because it did look more green than blue. And make sure I put teal green. Yep, I put that in there. So I've changed that to green. And make sure that I've changed that to green down here as well. Teal green, heathered. Yep, okay. All right, and I have that on there, so it's all set for me to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and list my item. Come on. All right, so now I can check it out for sale, and um, if somebody wanted to bid on it, they can. It's better to list items. I don't actually know how long. Oh, seven days. It's better to list items for around seven days or a week and later in the evening, but not too late because you don't want to have your item ending at 12 a.m. midnight because not that many people are up that late. Not that I think a lot of people are going to be clamoring to get this sweater shirt. So, yeah. But so that is my listing. And so basically I just was playing around with my YouTube, YouTube, UCAM to see if this would even work. Um, if it's at least halfway decent, I'll go ahead and put it up on YouTube. If not, you probably will never see it. So that's all for now because I have to go take my dog to dog training. Um, so bye.